What is up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Hip Hop with Lou. On today's episode, I have two music videos and then I'm hitting you all with another combination that's a little interesting. So we have two music videos and we have one song. Two videos, one song. Two videos, one song. Okay, are you ready, my little babies? Let's go. Look, I talked to God on the last yard I was walking on Feeling that stress and that pain, just trying to make it home My granny died, I found out through a letter And now I want to strangle any nigga if he pressing wrong Not where you want to be, but it comes with the life They gave you four doubled up cause it come with a strike These prison rules and politics, they come with a knife Feds got your face on the wall and they coming tonight, yeah Forgive me mama, I know I wasn't living right Brought the dope in the house and hid it in the kitchen light It tripped me out when she told me, boy I love you But knowing you was in jail the only way I can sleep at night Ooh. Now tell me that ain't trauma I only want the K if it comes with a comma I remember one late night Hunting like some great whites Saw my nigga D, he like y'all looking like some drama Looking for a problem About to blow some shit down, we was young Osamas All up in this little town, we was niggas karma Magazines and big rounds, quick to shoot the fade Then clip you like a barber All through the back streets, thugging was a hobby I hate to think about it, rest in peace my nigga Tommy If Kayla find a nigga, she probably grabbed a shotty Good girl gone bad and watch her catch a body J-A-D-A, -A. first of all, just another day alive. I'm already here for the song title because what more people need to do is we all just need to be grateful for another day alive. And then he said, I talked to God on the last yard that I was walking. Let me tell you something. I ain't never walked the kind of yards that you have walked, sir. But I can only imagine the conversations that take place when you walking across that prison yard and you like, God, if you just give me one more chance, I promise on everything I love, I'm going to do right this time. I'm going to do right. I'm going to do right. It's probably a different conversation that you have. So I was here for that bar, bar, bar. And then he said, we about to blow some shit down. We was young Osamas. Damn, y'all remember Osama Bin Laden? Y'all remember that? So you remember how they... Every, everything that happened. So that was a motherfucking bar right there. Uh, yeah. And then he said, we was niggas karma. Ooh, ooh, so you was the karma. So you remember how they say what you do to people, then karma gonna come back around. So it's like, when you remember you fuck with our homie. Yeah, so me and my homies, yeah, we came back and we delivered to karma that, 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 that life owed you. You get what I'm saying? So it's us. Yeah, you don't have to be, like, surprised. So, be the karma. So, I, I like that. I like, I don't like that y'all come around and y'all be each other karma. But I'm just saying, I like th that you put yourself as the karma. I like that. This is why it's so important to watch these full videos when I'm done. And I tell y'all to go watch them. Because towards the end, he said, yeah, you cool, but you ain't solid. And that's the difference. Boy, that was a bar, 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 bar. Because it's like... You mean motherfuckers and they be like, but I'm cool though. I ain't do nothing to you. Yeah, you cool. Like on the what's up, hi and bye. But like, you not a solid motherfucker. You don't have no loyalty in your heart. So that's the difference between being cool and being solid. You don't, I can't trust you like that. You a motherfucker I just got to say hi and bye to and then keep you at a distance. You not solid. Boy, you talking that shit. And if you want to open up your soul, just like you was in a video and it was throwing back them Patron shots. Yeah, you pop that bottle of Patron open and you going to get all that shit on the table. You going to get all the bars, all, all the real shit. All his emotions, I love when y'all pour your heart out on a track. And, and then you bring the beautiful lady in the video, because y'all already know I always got to shout out the beautiful ladies in the video. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? It's not right if I'm a woman and I don't praise the other women. That's a side note, ladies. Learn how to compliment another motherfucking woman. But anyways, back to the song. I am so here for this track. I'm here how you just put your raw emotions on the track. That's like my favorite thing when artists do that. Like when y'all just... Fuck it, nigga. Give me the pen, give me the Patron, and here the fuck y'all go. Waiting on this nigga, shit. God damn. That nigga's on nigga time. Let me hit that motherfucker, bro. You said waiting on this nigga, but man. God damn. What did he say? Yeah, where is that? Y'all ain't talk to him? I don't know. The nigga said he was going to be uh, missing this week. He got a uh, sub. Sub. 
$250 every day. I'm not hitting for three months. Okay. Man, like, yeah, fuck that bitch, man. Yeah, fuck that bitch. I got a hole for you right now, my man. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it, man. Let's get this shit true. My little drugs. Huh. Big blunt to the big brunt. Net the shed, they smoke and keep it real, then it's all front. Three months in the telly. Free time, y'all feeling like Nas off belly. And I trap by my lonely. But my first downfall be putting on the homie. Run it back, we gon' double up. Get a bitch to a gun, guarantee we gon' bubble up. Dump the bitch and she blew up. Now I'm looking at that bitch like I'm part of that glow up. Thought a nigga said something about a bitch that I never ever met. If I catch a bitch in person, I'ma press. And I put that on the set. If the bitch on the period, guarantee I'ma catch me some neck. Catch your neck while I surf the net. Watch some clothes for wholesale. Get busy, tatted on the net. Tell the bitch she better pay respect and Nike sign. Guaranteed I cut the check, I write the check. See, I own the place, I own the space. Little bitch don't get replaced. And you blessed with some good game, I say your grace. First of all, okay, so this is why I like watching his videos because he always keep my attention. It don't matter what it is, his videos, it, it just keep my attention. It don't even be nothing like crazy that I ain't never seen before. So, so the homies is at the beginning of the video and they just clowning and they talking and they cracking, they joke. Then the deacon come in looking clean as hell and then the beat dropping this big bluff or the big bluff. Like, uh, what? What? This is what I'm saying. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, when he walk in on, on the video, like, he always, like, I think even his last video, he walks in the room. I don't know if you do that purposely, but you always enter a room in your video, at least from what I've seen. And it, and it just be, when you walk in, you be giving me like that Rick Ross boss energy, like, oh. Like, you know, it's just like a boss just entered the room. When you listen to his music, he gives you street bars, but the way he is able to deliver the street bars is what tells me and what allows me to see that he's intelligent, okay? Free Tommy, I'm feeling like Nas off belly. God damn it, because you remember when Tommy, ooh, when they got Tommy, I was no good. I was no good after that. And that was a bar, because I love belly. But I'm going to tell you what, speaking of belly, I'm going to tell you what fucked me up when, when they got Keisha. When, when Keisha went to jail, I said, damn. Damn, that's that. I, I was sick for her. I was sick with her. I'm a trap by my lonely, but my first downfall was putting on the homie. God damn it. I'm going to catch that for y'all. I don't got nothing to do with that because I ain't going to trap. I, I don't trap. But what I will say is just outside of looking in, a lot of y'all better off trapping by y'all lonely because y'all put the wrong nigga on. He get a little too flashy. He get a little sloppy and then he just, his sloppiness fuck up your whole operation. So he like, that's my only downfall was putting this silly nigga on. I was trying to be a real one. I was trying to feed you. Can't feed stupid ass niggas all the time. That's crazy. That was a bar. Here's the bar that I just couldn't let go of because he said it, if, if, if she on her period, guaranteed, I'm going to still give me some neck. You know, some of y'all men, when y'all say that, yo, it just make me sick. Because it's like, damn, y'all don't even know what we be going through. And it's like, you still want me to suck it? Even though I don't feel good? Like, even though mentally I'm not in it, but as long as you in it, huh? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and catch that bar. I'm going I'm to point that out for the women. Like, sometimes, like, it's like, nigga, we, we don't want to do nothing but lay here and just, just fucking just be here and wait for this shit to be done. Like, damn. That was a bar. That was a bar. It was a disrespectful bar. And y'all know I like the disrespectful bars. Even if it's disrespectful to us, I still got to catch the motherfucker. And it's like, I can see why you get some neck when she on her period. Because then you say smart shit. Like, I start planting my seeds and I found my worth. Run that back. I start planting my seeds and then I found my worth. Because, hold on. Because what, 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 nigga, let that flower blossom. Let that flower grow. Put your seed over there. Put it over there. Put it over there. Put it in her mind. Put it in her mind. Then, boom, it turned into something beautiful. You be on your shit, for real. You really a cool, clever artist. 
you're another one of those rappers that when you rap, you do you you do your hand thing. I don't know what it is. It could be just a connection to me because I talk with my hands. But it's like you it, it elevates the cockiness behind your bar because you you go to the homie in the kitchen and you and you drop the bar and you like nigga that was a bar. Then you went to the homie on the other side of the kitchen and it was just like a bar. And I simply like the fact that you had the homies just in the video. You know what I'm saying? I think I don't know if that was Dior or Dior, but one of them. Uh, they look familiar in there. Um, they twins, so I, I don't know. I'm horrible with twins. But I know either that was Dior or Dior. Hopefully, I didn't mess that name up. But I'm here for the video. With that being said, we finna go ahead and roll over to the song now. Now y'all get to watch me, you know, sit here. And I might dance. I might do that. I don't know yet. I will, because that's just what I do. Uh, 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 Southside Titus, nigga. I... <laughs> I just lapped you oh, niggas. Lapped. My mama smoking cracks, so and when she had me, she lost custody. Waiting for my daddy bags was packing, he ain't come for me. I get so uncomfortable when they claim they got love for me. Cause love don't come for free, won't get no dab, won't get no hug from me. I got all these niggas in my face talking about they fuck with me. We ain't never split the dollar menu, you ain't thug with me. No, what's up with me, no need to holler, I want no company. Fighting cases, judge, and my family members judging me. I'm in a pen and niggas asking me for money, asking me to front them. Asking me like I ain't see six summer sitting up in the cell. I can't lie like I ain't see this coming. I can't lie, I wouldn't change a thing, I'd rather keep this money I overload myself with work so I can hide my shame I figure if I just stay busy I can hide my pain And I know they wouldn't slide if I would die today I try to fill the void inside my soul with designer names Ay, it ain't work but I'ma try again And only time will tell you who your partners is Only time will tell who your partners is, boy, come on Come on, Southside Titus, because you you doing that Southside shit that you be doing. And let me tell you what I like about Southside Titus. His flow is calm. He has a very calm flow, but he will calmly lap your ass on, on, on the song. And it's just like he don't yell. He don't be, like, aggressive. He don't yell. It's just, like, a very calm flow. And you hear every bar. You, you don't even have to go back and rewind it and be like, wait, did he say that? Because he calmly rapping, so it's like you don't miss nothing he say. But then when he said he was waiting for his daddy and his bags was packed and he ain't come for me. Damn, that was a bar. Because let me tell you why there's a lot of kids around the world that can relate to that bar. However, I cannot because I never had no hope that my daddy was come pick me up. I knew that the nigga completely forgot about the existence of me as his daughter. But I do know that there's a lot of kids that can relate to that moment where their bags is packed and they staring out the window and they like... He said he was gonna be here. And then five hours go by and the motherfucker still ain't here. That was a bar. And then he said all these niggas in my face saying they fuck with me. Hold on. You ain't spent the dollar me and you with me. You ain't thug with me. Nigga, I remember when it was only a dollar. And me and you and me and my homeboy and me and, and, and we only had a dollar and some change to cover the tax. So we split that shit down the middle. I don't think you was one of them homies. So I don't know why you on my face talking about you fuck with me and you love me. No, I'm with my day ones over here. And that was a motherfucking bar because we done all been there. I don't remember you cut that bitch for a way here. You, you get a corner and then I eat this corner and then we good. And you eat it slow so it feel like it lasts longer. But that was a bar. You see what I'm saying? He be just talking that shit in a calm manner. When he said fighting cases, judge. And my family members judging me. So you see how he could carry. I like when y'all carry one word over and it leads you into another bar. So if he fighting cases, what you got to face? You got to face the judge, right? But then he took that judge and then he said, and my family members are what? Judging me. What, what, is, what is the root word? It's judging. You see, we'll go to English on hip hop. That's what I'm saying. Hip hop actually good for kids because it can teach you English very well. It'll teach you how to word play and how many different ways you could use this word in the sentence. You know, art, rappers are smart. Some rappers. The rappers that use their words correctly with the word play, they're very smart. But when he said how I'm in a pen and niggas asking me for money, um, I don't know. But I'm going to ask you, I don't know how you be in a pen and you be just consistently working. Like, in my mind, I be like, are we sure he in a pen? Like, because you be on your shit. You always dropping a new song, a new video. His merch still be selling. Like, his page still be going up. I'm like, hold the fuck up. Like, I mean, I just be seeing people in certain situations and they still keep going and they still keep grinding. And like I said before, it motivates me because I ain't got no excuse. 
This man right here in the pen, he ain't making no excuse. And how long are y'all still asking this nigga for money? Put something on his shit. Fuck it, you free, nigga, damn. You, you lap niggas on this. And if you like, what do you mean lap? It's like, you ever been running the track? So y'all all start at the same time? And then these motherfuckers somehow on five and you still on lap two. So they just making your ass look bad. So they running circles around you literally. So like that he lapping your ass with the bars. Keep going. Keep up the work. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching another episode of Hip Hop Lou. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Please go watch these full music videos. Okay, they're going to pop up. And then when you see the videos pop up, go down below. And then you're going to find the full song link to Southside Titus. But thank you guys for watching. I'm done. Uh, yeah. Bye.